What's up, Grapple Gang? I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, we're gonna skip the intro and just get into the good stuff. Let's talk about some wild SpongeBob mistakes that Nickelodeon missed. Our first mistake is hidden in the season 10 episode, Burst Your Bubble. In this episode, SpongeBob is tired of his poor driving skills, so he creates something revolutionary, a bubble boat. A boat that's made out of, well, bubbles. Well, it isn't long before SpongeBob's creation becomes a massive hit, with everyone in Bikini Bottom wanting a bubble boat for themselves. Heck, they become so popular that Mrs. Puff gets fired and her boating school is changed into a school specifically for bubble boats, ran by SpongeBob. Now in the end, bubble boats are banned from Bikini Bottom by the cops. But let's go back to this scene for a mistake. I know you missed it. As a very excited SpongeBob tells Gary about his new creation, he jumps into the air, and for about a frame, his eyes turn yellow. It looks really weird, the same yellow as his spongy body. Here's a clip. <laughs> you don't need a license to drive a bubble. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Carry on, citizen. You'll never believe it! I was out driving all day! Yes! Driving! Our next mistake can be found in the episode Demolition Doofus. This episode is all about SpongeBob accidentally injuring Mrs. Puff real bad. So to get back at him, she pretty much attempts to have him killed, with her convincing the poor Sponge to compete in a rigorous boating derby full of crazy fish. To our surprise though, SpongeBob is shockingly very skilled at the derby and beats almost all of the other competitors. This only upsets Mrs. Puff even more though with her taking matters into her own hands and joining in to get the job done herself. Now the mistake in question can be found during this scene, where Cruncher drives away from Spongebob. Throughout the episode, Cruncher has back fins. However, during this shot, the Cruncher's back fins are just missing, thus making for a subtle continuity error. If you're a longtime SpongeBob fan, then you know that one of SpongeBob and Patrick's favorite places to go is Glove World, a entire amusement park that's all about gloves. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Well, unfortunately for SpongeBob and Patrick, in the episode Glove World R.I.P., Glove World is actually going to close down. As you can imagine, this causes SpongeBob and Patrick to panic. But don't worry, in the end, everything works out, and Glove World doesn't close. Thank goodness. But, but if we fast forward to this scene, there's a subtle mistake, as there seems to be two Nat Petersons when there should only be one. One can be seen talking to an anchovy, and one can be seen holding balloons. Here's a clip. I think the time has come for us to accept reality. Well, I've gone this far, why start now? All I'm saying is... Maybe there's a reason Glove World is closing. I mean, just look around you. Open your eyes. Okay. <laughs> In season two, episode 15, Grandma's Kisses, SpongeBob is excited to see his grandma at first but quickly becomes embarrassed when customers at the Krusty Krab roast him and make fun of him just for wanting attention and love from his grandmother. It's pretty messed up. So because of this, Patrick and SpongeBob make a big decision and become adults. They grow up. This doesn't go very well though, as SpongeBob begins to crave his grandmother's affection. And in the end, he gives in. But if we rewind back to this scene, we can spot a mistake that I know you missed. 
at the beginning of the episode when SpongeBob says, tell me another story about when I was a baby. Well, his eyelashes are missing. It isn't that big of a deal, but yeah. Here's a clip, but before I show it, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting the channel, guys. Seriously. I'm Cartoon Cory, and we love when you guys come and watch these videos and leave a comment. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. If you do, um, I'll take you to a Kelby G concert. Yeah, that'll be fun. Real SpongeBob fans know the reference. Anyways, though, here's that clip. Have a great day, guys. And then we drove all the way home with all the windows down and freezing cold. Tell me another story about when I was a baby. Oh, three o'clock? I'm gonna be late for work. Hop in my car, I'll drop you off.